Okay. Okay. I want to apologize. I know I am extremely late. Um, but what do you guys think of the new trailer that Capcom has dropped for Dragon's Dogma 2? It shows a lot that I am really hype about. And I know I'm late. I know I'm late to this. I've seen it. I've, I've already have my notes on what I want to talk about. But the main thing that I do want to talk about is the vocation. There is a very specific vocation in the game of Dragon's Dogma that you can now sort of switch between classes. Um, I don't not sure. I'm still sort of learning uh, the name of it, but overall, with with looking at it face value, it looks absolutely amazing. You can literally choose three different vocations that you can switch between either as a magic archer and then goes directly over to a berserker. You see with this clip where a berserk. Uh, well, not a berserk, but a minotaur is about to attack and you do like a counter attack by switching class or there is a mage or some yeah, like a mage that sort of switched to that scepter uh, sort of class and sort of was fighting um, an enemy that's in the air. That right there is actually really, really freaking cool. Um, there is a lot, honestly to look visually which i do appreciate a lot more of because you can just do so much with with that i mean of course usually those type of classes or those type of vocations will be overpowered so they have to have some type of balance and i'm pretty sure that it's going to be a balanced mechanic to where you're not overly overpowered there has to be some limitations i believe that there are some limitations when it comes down to uh, being able to switch between weapons on a fly be able to switch i believe between uh i believe between yeah between vocations on a fly but i'm not quite sure if you're able to switch uh armor on a fly which i highly doubt i believe that would be weird if the moment you switch vocations mid fight your armor changes as well which i believe it can be a bit too much honestly it can be a bit too much but i feel like by using this type of vocations i believe you're able to combine a lot of different armor sets because you're using that specific vocation even though there is uh a lot of combat being shown from the state of play from uh, PlayStation, which I do appreciate. I always keep a lookout for those type of events. Uh, but it did show a little bit more uh, of the gameplay, a little bit more of the visuals of how uh, it just looks amazing. I am still shocked with how amazing this game is. Uh, I already know what my plans are for this game. I am going to get it. Um, I may go yeah i may do a whole playthrough of the game on my uh let's play channel or on my gameplay channel please feel free to subscribe to that that is going to be in the description down below the channel is called thin plays games so definitely see you there the first two hours of the unedited uncut footage of me playing this game is going to be directly on that channel so definitely be on the lookout i'm definitely going to use a lot of clips um and use it for discussions and things like that but yeah what do you guys what do you guys think of the new vocation i think personally that's going to be a really really cool vocation that i most likely think that everybody is going to be using uh but yeah but what about you are you going to use it are you not going to use it are you excited for a vocation like this or are you frustrated at a vocation like this i want to have a conversation with you guys but with that being said i am out and i'll see you guys in the next one take care